Yeah. Boxing Social here with Lawrence Ocoli. Final press conference is behind you. You had your final say. How do you feel right now? I feel lighter. So there's a lot of stuff I wanted to say and get across. I got a lot of it across. And now I know that that's one more pit stop towards the fight. Done. When you look at Isaac's body language, what, what do you see D during these media events? What, what have you have you put? Have you, have you noticed something or? I've noticed a lot of stuff, but not just at this press conference or the last press conference. It's when we're together at Sky, so on and so forth. But I don't want to read too much into it. He might just not be a confident person. But what I do read into it is that he's very good when there's certain set triggers. So one trigger is Ted will whisper in his ear, say this, and then he'll be able to do it. So I think that will translate in a fight. He'll listen to instructions to the T and go out and try and execute them. But in terms of his body language, he's a, he's, 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 he's a nervous wreck, basically, which is why he's needed, um, what do you call them, um, psychiatrists and hypnosis for years. It's not a, a secret. He's commented, posted about it, spoke about it in interviews. So um, he needs that kind of stuff. Now, could you explain the whole Ted thing that literally just happened? Yeah, you mentioned Ted, 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 Ted during the press conference. So, what's up? Um, basically, I feel like Ted is far too emotionally involved in this fight. He's a grown-up, and he needs to act like a grown-up. The reason I say that is he's acted like a hooligan in the build-up to this. When I saw him saying stuff like, if Isaac don't stop you, I'm going to quit boxing. And I took that to heart, not because he said Isaac will stop me, but because he's, he trains a couple of people that I know. Um, so you're going to quit when I beat your boy and leave these two with no coach? So I, I don't think that's fair, man. He needs to really grow up. Do you think this fight is more about mental toughness or skill just because of the fact that there's been so much talk, hype and beef? It depends. Once skill goes out the window, then it will become about mental toughness. But skill might be enough to win this fight. Um, he's been sparring with a lot of good guys, Alexander Usyk to name uh, one guy. Uh, are you worried about that? Not in the slightest. In fact, after watching Usyk on the weekend, I'm, I'm certain that he's in, he's in trouble because it shows me he's a sparring partner. Does that make sense? Usyk is preparing himself for a world title fight. Isaac's not going to do 10 rounds with him. He's going to do three, four rounds and maybe mix him with some other guys. So, he's, and as an answer, Uzek is on a different level to Isaac completely. So Uzek could be working on stuff and either give Isaac a full sense of security or he'll be battering him. So he needs to learn how to defend. So in terms of winning a fight against a tall orthodox puncher with range and various other stuff, it's a, it's a dream. What's your biggest strength against Isaac on Saturday? Against Isaac? Um, I don't want to say the right words. I know the word that it is, but I think the second biggest one is a massive right hand. And what do you think is his biggest weakness? Biggest weakness is, that, is, his, is his mental and um, his mental toughness is his biggest weakness. So the fact that he's going to want to show that he's a warrior is going to be why he gets... And finally, after this fight, should you win, what are your plans for 2018? Uh, I'm going to get on the AJ undercard as long as I'm not injured and then um, after that take a little rest and then we'll map out a serious plan on what to do but I feel like last year I was calling out you know Commonwealth champions, area champions, British champions and I was sort of pushed to one side oh shut up you only had six fights or whatever after I win this fight it puts me in a position where when I say those names they know I'm serious and they can really step up and take it. Lawrence Ciccoli thank you very thank much. You.